بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم uh, Welcome to uh, Research Methodology This is our first lecture uh, Semester 7 okay. uh, Before we uh, actually go inside uh, or inside in depth in our uh, syllabus Let us take uh, a very small introduction about this course okay. <clears throat> Actually before you graduate from any university around the world you have to do what we call research project okay or research paper okay or academic research paper different names different terms but same concept okay so before you uh, graduate actually as i said before you graduate from any uh, university you have to conduct conduct means do you have to conduct or you have to do your own research project okay why why you have to do this research project or academic research project or <clears throat> sorry academic uh, paper uh, simply because uh, from day one from kg1 or from the day you started um, uh, school up to this moment teachers do everything for you they bring the material they explain the um, um uh, try to give uh, to sorry to give you uh, examples and so on and you have to receive all the information without making any attempt to explore or try to understand this information yourself but in research methodology you have to do this job okay you have to go and search for the information you have to classify this information whether it's uh, they are relative or in uh, relative to your uh, course um, you have to understand this information and you have to try to explain it to your readers by giving examples and so on so really you are um, try to become um, a researcher okay you search for the information and you try to uh, to uh, to understand them and explain them to other and share your results and findings with others okay so this is why we uh, have uh, to have this um, this course or this research uh, project okay but how how can i uh, conduct this research how can i do a research uh, academic research paper or um uh, academic project okay uh, first of all you have to differentiate or um, make it clear or a clear uh, distinction must be made between the term research and academic research we have different uh, components or two uh, different um, components or two different concepts research Uh, or uh, academic research uh, the the, um, uh, the normal term we use research we use it a lot of in in our daily life why to search for any idea for a song for a film for a play for any uh, piece of information that i need to know uh, anything about it okay without uh, following any rules or guidelines okay this is what we call research And this is basically what we usually do in our daily life. When I'd like to listen to um, a music or a song, um, uh, a play or a series, a TV show, okay? Basically, I go to, uh, to, uh, to Google or to YouTube and uh, search for this song or this uh, TV show or film. But... On the other hand, we have academic research paper, okay? Before I conduct or before I do the academic research paper, I have to follow some certain steps, some certain procedures, okay? In order to call something a research project, I have to follow some certain rules, some certain guidelines, norms, traditions, you call it okay inshallah throughout this uh, course we will learn together these rules and these guidelines okay But this is why we have or this is uh, the main reason behind behind research projects 
and why we have to do a research uh, a research project another um, idea i'd like to 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 rise here before we start actually our uh, our course uh, what are the aims of our course okay as i said previously before you graduate from any course in any university okay you have to do your research project okay the main goal of this research uh, methodology course is to teach you how to do a research project from a to z okay every bits and pieces we discuss in this course you are going to apply it literally next semester when you start doing your research project okay inshallah during this course i will teach you how to do your research project first i will give you a theoretical background information about research types of research uh, the division of research the order of the research kada then we will move uh, to the parts of research any academic research have uh, has sorry different parts okay we will discuss them in details okay after that we will move to the uh, application okay in which we will discuss citation different kinds of citations the plagiarism and so and so on okay so the main goal of this research uh, me methodology course is to give you a theoretical background information how to conduct or how to do your research project okay by the end of this course inshallah you will be able to do your own research your own research uh, project inshallah okay uh, as i said before we start you have to be careful with this course why simply because every issue we discuss this semester every uh, idea we uh, explain you are going to do it or you are going to apply it next semester when you do your own research project so uh, be sure that you understand everything okay don't panic to ask questions okay uh, try to watch these videos uh, once two uh, twice or even three times until you fully understand every idea we discuss uh, in our uh, classes inshallah okay so uh, now we will go to a uh, research project uh, or research methodology if you go to page one Okay, if you go, uh, if you go to page one, Hannah, في عندنا we start by defining research project. What is research project? Okay, if you if you see here, okay, Gali, the term uh, research, okay, the term research simply means scientific investigation. Scientific investigation. This is a very simple definition for research project or academic research project when somebody asks you what is academic research okay the answer is very simple research project is a scientific investigation what do we mean by scientific investigation okay investigation what what does it mean investigation we investigate to learn more okay to discover more areas this what investigation means so investigation means that we conduct a research project in order to learn more about certain topic or certain idea to discover more uh, areas regarding this subject or regarding this topic or regarding this uh, this uh, issue so the the uh, the academic research is all about choosing a topic a very specific topic a very limited topic and study it in details i repeat the academic research in general is all about choosing a very limited or a very small topic not a very uh, a big one or a large one no this is not academic research paper 
in academic research paper we usually or we always choose a very small or a very limited topic and study it in details okay to try to learn more about this topic okay so scientific investigation investigation means in the nahna we do an an academic research paper to learn more about certain topic or to discover a new uh, new ideas or a new areas regarding uh, this uh, this uh, topic or this uh, issue scientific what does it mean scientific investigation uh, here scientific means that in order to do this investigation you have to follow some certain steps as i said previously you have to follow some certain norms or traditions or guidelines and this is basically what makes academic research paper differ for, uh, differs from any other kind of research okay so scientific means that in order to do this research i have to apply some certain rules or to follow some certain rules or some certain uh, guidelines okay so uh this is in a very simple words this is what we mean by uh, the term research we mean that research is scientific investigation scientific you know scientific investigation okay uh, at the same page we have three different types of research okay uh, generally speaking we have a lot of types of researches okay but for the time being and for the purpose of this course we will discuss only three types okay as they shown in page one we have report research paper we have argumentative research paper and also we have analytical research paper these are the most common uh, or the most well-known types of researches, okay? Let's begin with the first one, okay? Report research paper. From its name, I can understand something, sah? Report. And yani basically, Hannah, and I'm doing a report. Report research paper, okay? Fa, um, report research paper, Dali. A writer gathers information on a topic. As I said before, I have to choose a topic. Inshallah, in our upcoming classing, uh, classes, sorry, we will discuss how to choose a topic or how to limit your topic or how to narrow your topic. But for the time being, a report research paper is all about choosing a topic. A writer gathers information on a topic from several resources and present them in paragraphs okay in his or her own words in a coherent organized way in this type of paper the writer reports which gonna report research paper basically i am doing a report reports what other what others have said without making any attempt to add a personal a personal comment or a personal uh, point of view on the issue so in other words report research paper the writers here choose a topic okay a topic of interest a topic that he or she likes okay and try to gather information about this topic from different resources. Resource means any source of information. Whether uh, this resource is a book, a journal, internet website, magazine, okay? Any type of resource that I can get information, okay? So, Hannah, uh, the writer, gathers information on a topic in a choosing topic remember that you are going to choose your topic okay so you gather information from different resources about this topic 
gather this information together write them in your own words okay in very organized and coherent way in very um, uh, nice way okay without making any attempt to add any personal comments yani in this kind of research you are not allowed to add any personal point of view or any personal comments what you are needed to do or what um, you have to do is to gather information from different resources about this topic write them down in very nice and organized way okay طبعا, uh, this kind of research is not very common in research projects or in academic research projects Okay, yani we are not using using this this uh, this uh, this kind of of research, the report research paper. Why? Simply because there is no creativity in this in this uh, type of research. You cannot add anything. You cannot learn uh, more and more. But um, at the end of the day, this is uh, a kind of a kind of research that we have to know about. Okay, uh, if we go to the second type of research, which is argumentative research paper. Argumentative research paper. Also, from its name, I can understand that there is an argument. Argue. يعني different point of views. Okay, argument. So, the first one is called report. Okay, in which I... Report what other people have said or have written about the about this topic. But here the uh, second second way or second type sorry of the research and an argumentative research paper. Gally, when the writer presents ideas of others and also makes judgment on them. Okay, يعني هنا I present different point of views about the certain topic, about a choosing topic, about the topic that I have chosen. Okay, remember that. Remember, in, 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 the first thing you have to do is to choose a topic. Okay, بعدين you have to present different uh, point of views. يعني some people say yes, some people say no, وهكذا. فأنت you have to do uh, what you have to do هنا you have to present these different type or these different uh, point of views and also you have to evaluate or to make judgment on these on these uh, point of views or these different ideas okay هنا قال لي you are allowed to add personal comments Okay, unlike the first type of the research, which is report research paper, you cannot add your personal point of view or your own ideas. Here in the second type of research, argumentative research paper, you are allowed to add your personal comments, your personal point of views. What do you think about this topic? What do you think about this idea or these different ideas that you have presented in your research? Huh? Sometimes you agree with some ideas and you disagree with others. You have to present your ideas. You have to defend yourself. You have to defend your uh, positions by adding examples, adding uh, uh, explanations of your I or uh, your own ideas and so and so on. Okay. By the way, uh, Gali, this is the type of papers that scholars published in journals because it is the type that communicates uh, advanced knowledge, new ideas and a new point of views. This is the most commonly used type of research. You are argumentative research paper. And even في the graduation or في 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 research projects, the most 
يعني the vast majority of the universities around the world requires the this type of uh, of uh, research اللي هو argumentative research paper in which I present I present different ideas. But what makes this research or this kind of research extremely important or well known? لأن هنا I am presenting different ideas. Okay. But what happens when the, when I when I present different ideas? I learn more. I learn more. The more ideas I present in more, in my research, or the different ideas I present in my research, the more I learn about this topic. Okay. I like the first the the first. Uh, kind of research in which I present uh, only limited ideas. Okay, I uh, there is no argument and so over. But uh, في the uh, first, the uh, second uh, type of research, who are argumentative research paper. Here I am presenting different types of ideas. Okay, في some people say yes, some people say no. And then a disagreement between the ideas. Okay. Every scholar or every researcher has his or her own uh, ideas. So I present all these ideas and I also make judgment on them. This process or this mechanism allows me to learn more about this topic. Unlike the first type of research, who are report research people. Okay, we move to the third type of research, who are analytical research paper okay analytical research paper also from its name i can understand something okay analytical means analyze means analyze yani i have to analyze something what usually we analyze we analyze data so but before we analyze data we have to collect these data Okay, the analytical research paper means that I have to collect data and then, and then, sorry, combine these data together. After that, I analyze these data to come up with my final results. Okay, how can I gather or collect data? We have data collection tools. Okay, data collection tools if you remember last semester when you studied ESP course we we discuss these different these different uh, data collection tools like what like questionnaires survey case study interviews observation okay these all are called data collection tools okay data collection tools these tools allow me to uh, to collect or to gather uh, my my data but after that after I, I i gather my my data okay i have to combine these data together and after that i have to analyze data also i have data analysis tools as i had data collection tools i had data analysis tools like what it depends on the nature of the data if the data are uh, numbers okay so i have statistic analysis okay like is uh, esp uh, sbss and so uh, and so on so i have to analyze my data uh, throughout uh, a statistical way okay if my uh, my data are not number ممكن ideas or uh, thoughts or kada that results from observations يعني في observation i cannot collect the numbers لا عندي views or عندي uh, i have ideas that i have written in my notebook or so عندي حتى inter uh, interviews I cannot collect numbers from uh, interviews. Okay, so if I, if my my uh, my data were 
ideas in nature that I have to use another data analysis tool, which is called content analysis. Content analysis that I have to apply, okay? But uh, here in analytical research project, the process of collecting data, combining these data together and analyzing data usually takes long time three four years of doing this research okay so basically this kind of research we usually cannot do in this level in ba level ممكن in master degree or phd uh, degree we uh, we can uh, do this kind of research why because we have uh, plenty of time but for our level here ba or research project we cannot we cannot conduct this kind of research simply because it needs time fee time consuming okay Gali, this type of paper is a piece of information that results from collecting data. Collecting data. I have to collect my data. I have to use data collection tools like surveys, questionnaire, uh, interview, observation, uh, so on. Okay? From reliable and credible resources. Okay? I have to have my own resources, okay? Reliable resources, okay? And then I have to combine these data. I have to combine these data together in order to uh, analyze, analyze them, okay? So this is the third type of, uh, of research, which, which is called uh, analytical research, okay? So uh, if we go back from the beginning, we studied the the, the uh, term of research or we define a uh, research project as a scientific investigation okay a scientific investigation it means that i have to do a, a research project to learn more about a certain topic well, this is basically the main goal behind research project or academic research project we always conduct or do a research project to learn more, to try to discover more ideas about a certain topic. Scientific investigation. Scientific means that in order to do this in uh, this research or this investigation, I have to follow some certain rules or guidelines or norms or tradition, uh, traditions of academic research. Okay. After that, we discussed the three different types of academic research paper and I uh, as I said that we have more uh, types of researches but for the time being or for the purpose of this course we will discuss only or we discussed only uh, three types which were a uh, report research paper and uh, argumentative research paper and finally analytical research research paper okay this is uh, all uh, for uh, uh, our lecture today, inshallah. Next uh, class, we will discuss other issues, inshallah. Be ready. Wassalamu alaikum.